Hello, my name is Leleko. In this video, I'm going to be chatting to you about studying breaks, whether they're useful or not. Spoiler alert, they are. <laughs> Why they're useful and how you can make them as productive as possible with a few suggestions of stuff you can be doing in those breaks to really help you regain your concentration after a bit of studying. I'll link the study that I'm basing this video on in the description if you want to go check it out. But to summarize, studying in shorter blocks of time may prove to help you actually study a lot more effectively. In fact, this study found that intermittent studying sessions separated by short breaks of time may actually help with long-term memory consolidation. The way the researchers went about the study was basically measuring the gamma waves in the frontal lobe of participants' brains. These gamma waves are believed to correlate to your concentration levels. The higher the power of these waves are in your brain, the higher your concentration levels are. What they found was that the participants who studied in bigger chunks of time got tired and experienced a sharp drop in concentration after just a bit of studying and then their concentration levels stayed low for the rest of that chunk of time that they were studying. However, the participants who studied in shorter chunks of time with little breaks in between, they also got tired of course, but their concentration levels were restored after each break that they took. This means that their graph looked a bit more like small drops that were regained every time they took a break, whereas those who studied for a longer amount of time experienced a steep drop and then just really ineffective or inefficient studying for the rest of their studying session, which is obviously not ideal. Conclusion, studying in long chunks of time will cause your brain to get tired and have you spend a lot of time studying really unproductively. However, if you're taking breaks, you'll be studying for shorter bits of time. However, those short chunks of time will be infinitely more productive than any long chunk of time you can spend studying. And therefore, it's a lot more wise to study for shorter times with breaks in between because in the end your average concentration levels will just be higher. I do mention this in a previous video I made about scientific methods you can use to study. However, that video was a compilation of a whole bunch of studying techniques so I couldn't spend loads of time discussing any one of them so I decided to make this video to kind of dedicate one whole video to it. So taking breaks is good. However, what you do in those breaks does matter. Your studying breaks need to be productive or your brain won't be able to restore your concentration levels. In other words, if your break doesn't give your brain some time to rest, you might as well not take it. So here are five things you can do to really help your brain recover your concentration levels in your studying breaks. Number one, go outside. If the weather allows it, going outside and getting some fresh air can prove really rejuvenating for your brain and it'll put you in a much better space to continue studying once your break is over and you have to jump right back into it. Number two, get some exercise. Going for a quick walk or run will really jolt your brain back into action. If you go for a run or walk outside, you're combining getting exercise and getting outside. So that's a great idea. Number three, have a snack. Drink some water, eat a fruit. Your brain needs glucose to do what it needs to do. So malnutrition can prove quite detrimental to your cognitive function. This doesn't mean you should eat like an entire loaf of bread every time you take a break from studying, but just having a snack every now and then will really keep your brain going. I used to kind of just forget to eat while I was studying and I realized very quickly that that's not the greatest idea because I experienced quite a bit of brain fog when I did that. So drink water and eat, your brain needs it. Number four, tidy up. Your environment affects your studying. The tidier your desk, the tidier your mind. Cleaning up your environment can really help boost your mood so you're ready to jump right back into studying. Number five, sleep. <laughs> Studies have shown that a quick 20 minute nap can really help up your productivity and ability to focus in general. However, sleeping any longer than 20 minutes will leave you feeling groggy and wondering what day it is, so don't overdo it. We do have a blog, so if you want this video in blog form, feel free to check out the link in the description. Also, a video I would suggest you watch is the video I made on active recall, which is a really, really cool, effective way that you can study. It's the best one out there right now, so I'd highly suggest you go watch that video. Otherwise, leave a like, subscribe if you like. This is what's going on on this channel right here. So if you enjoyed your stay, uh, why not stay for a bit longer? Feel free to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one and good luck on your studying journey.